Hello, I'm Carla. This tutorial is on Supta Parangusvasana, the first position with the leg at a 90 degree shape. If you are a beginner, you probably are not very flexible and may not be able to reach your big toe. So have a strap nearby. Strap is going to be very, very useful for you to practice this pose. Supta Parangusvasana is a wonderful pose because you are lying on the floor. There is no weight bearing. You don't have to balance. You can prepare for other standing poses and improve your flexibility while lying down quite comfortably. So you're going to come to Supta Tadasana. Supta Tadasana means lying down. So extending your legs, making sure that the flesh of the upper back and the buttocks are towards the heel. Now you're going to take up your right leg. As you bend your right leg, don't allow the right waist to shrink. So don't move the hip towards the right armpit. From the waist, lengthen that side of the body. Keep that outer thigh, outer hip rolling towards the left heel. Once you've got your strap around the right foot, you're going to extend both legs. Stretch into the heel of the foot. Stretch into the big toe mound. Feel that the kneecaps are firmly pressed into the leg and that you've completely opened the back of the leg. And with each exhalation, keep rolling the root of the right thigh away from the right armpit so that the right waist and the left waist are equally long. From here, you can exhale and widen your elbows, keeping both legs straight. Press the left thigh into the floor. Relax your shoulders, your neck, your jaw, your throat. And then if you're able to reach your toe, the big toe is referred to as an angusta or parangusta. So firm up the knee, keep lifting the foot in line with the eye and sucking that right arm back into the shoulder socket so that the shoulder doesn't lift completely off the floor. Firm up the knees, stretch the legs completely once more. And then on an exhalation, lift your body up. See, can you bring yourself towards your shin? You can press your left thigh down as you lift to help you hold on to the leg with both hands. See if you can bring your face to your shin and then release the right leg. Come back to Supta Tadasana. So, Supta Parangusvasana, one, this position with the leg at 90 degrees is great preparation for Virabhadrasana 3 when you do it with the arms over your head. Take a small loop around the left foot. So, the second side now, we'll just do with one strap from Supta Tadasana. Once you've adjusted yourself in Supta Tadasana, keep that sacrum level on the floor when you take up the left leg. That will help you to feel that will help you to feel whether you've maintained length in this waist. Keep both knees firm, keep extending both legs, stretch into the heels, stretch into the big toe mound. You want to on an exhalation split the legs apart, try to bring this left leg at least to perpendicular to the floor, and then to work on flexibility to deepen that stretch. And to kind of get the feeling of the upper body for Virabhadrasana 3, you're going to grip the strap with two hands and start to take the arms overhead. Keep the left leg straight. Keep the right thigh pressing down and bring that left leg over. Extend the spine. Lock the elbows. Extend the arms. Breathe. And then on an exhalation, you can bend the knee and release it back to Supta Tadasana. So this is the first position for Supta Parangustasana. As a beginner, learn the positions individually and then you can string them together in a cycle. Namaste.